Hello friends and welcome to our channel Important Info. Dear viewers, poultry farming. One of the uh, fastest and uh, growing uh, farming around the globe and especially in subcontinent. Because uh, poultry uh, convert feed into products so quickly in comparison to other animals. That's why people they have tendency to start this farming. One thing more. If we want to have a positive farming, so we should follow various managemental practices. Or if we want to have a positive result from our farm, so we should follow managemental practices. One of those is feeding management. Why are we considering and focusing feed? Because feed is the largest item of expenditure. Or suppose if we are investing $100 in a farm, so 70 or 75 hundred uh, dollars will be only of feed that's why we should be more concerned about it again we have broiler and layer we are escaping layer again broiler is divided into three parts or their feed or their feeding uh, formulas are separate from each other because scientists they have divided their uh, feed into three phases pre-starter, starter and finisher. Again we are escaping starter and finisher. We will be talking about the pre-starter. Those who are new in our channel kindly uh, subscribe our channel, share our video and uh, kindly provide your fruitful comments. So let's start our video and uh, one thing uh, which I would like to consider here is that uh, kindly watch the video till the end. Uh, in pre-starter phase uh, we should provide a kind of feed uh, which should have 23% crude protein and uh, 3000 kilocalories of metabolizable energy. Uh, for that uh, uh, we will use following ingredients. In case of protein uh, we have three sources 20% soya, 20% uh, groundnut cake and 5% fish meal. The energy will be provided from 34% uh, maize, 6% uh, oil and 5% uh, molasses. Till now we have 90% uh, protein and energy and rest 10% uh, we will give it to minerals, vitamin, uh, DCP powder, limestone, enzymes, toxin binder and lever tonic. Now let us calculate the CP and uh, metabolizable energy of each ingredient that whether this formula is providing 23% CP and 3000 kilocalorie of metabolizable energy or not. Soya, groundnut cake, uh, fish meal and maize provide 48%, uh, 42%. 45% and 10% uh, crude protein respectively. In case of energy we will have 2900, 2800, 2900, 3000, uh, 9000 and uh, 2900 uh, kilocalorie of metabolizable energy from uh, 1 kilogram of each ingredient. Now let's have the calculation. First CP. Uh, obtained CP from each ingredient is 9.6, 8.4, 2.25 and 3.4 respectively. If we see the total of CP, uh, it's fortunately 23.65% and it's almost similar with uh, our desired level. In case of energy, provided energy from each ingredient is 58,000, 56,000, uh, 14,500, 1 lakh and 2,000, 54,000 and uh, 14,500 kilocalorie. Uh, if we have a glance towards the total, it is 2 lakh and 99,000 kilocalorie which means that from 100 kg of feed we will have 2, 2 lakh and 99,000 kilocalorie energy. Now we want to know the metabolizable energy of 1 kg feed. For that we will divide 2 lakh and 99,000 by 100 
so the result is uh, 2990 uh, which means from 1 kilogram of feed uh, we will have 2990 kilocalorie of metabolizable energy dear viewers uh, you can change the ingredients if you want to prepare your own formula accordingly but uh, you should consider the cp level and uh, energy level so thank you guys for uh, watching video again i am repeating that kindly provide your comments and share the video hopefully it helps you hopefully you will uh, take advantage of this